Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this video today and today we are going to be talking about this lens. So this is Helios 44-2, an old Soviet lens uh, made for film cameras and well uh, today I'm going to uh, convince you to buy this lens because it's really fun. It's really weird but it's really fun. So for starters uh, I'm going to go to like I'm going to go through the specs of this lens. Uh, so first of all it's called Helios 44-2 it is 58 millimeters of focal length and f2. Uh, first of all, it, it's called Helios 44, but the focal distance is 58, which is like weird, but okay. Uh, next, you can adapt it to any contemporary camera that you like. It has a M42 mount, but there are a ton of adapters for Canon, for Nikon, for Sony, for Fuji, even for PL. So, which is really nice and I will find those and I will list them down in the description below. So, please check them out. Uh, so, what else? Uh, it has a 49 millimeters filter thread. I know many people want to use filters with their lenses. Uh, so, 49 millimeters is the way to go. So, first of all, it's completely manual. Well, it's an old Soviet lens. So, what else do you want to, to export? What else can you expect from it? So it's completely manual, it's completely declicked, so you can like uh, move your aperture from uh, minimum to maximum easily. Uh, and what else? It has a like really weird uh, thing. Um, it's kind of an aperture limiter, but it's but it does it backwards. So uh, so let me explain first, and I will show you like close up, and I will explain it how to use it. So, uh, it has three rings, a focal ring, uh, like focus ring, a ring that actually adjusts the, uh, adjusts the aperture, and in like a aperture limiter ring uh, with the numbers. The thing is, like, uh, you know how uh, in normal uh, modern lenses, if you have like a notch or like red dot or white dot or whatever, and you align this red dot with the number, so this is like uh, what the f-stop of your lens is currently set to. Well, not with this guy, because it shows it backwards. So, uh, I will readjust the angle and I will show you the close-up and I will explain how to do this thing with it. I'll be right back. So this is the quirkiness, the quirky aperture ring of Helios 44-2. So let's just see so this is the focus ring this is not really interesting so you see that red dot and it says that we are now at f16 but we are now wide open so this is actually f2 and uh, let's go just for the sake of interest let's go to f2 and we are now closed fully closed so this is f16 so let's now try and use this uh, weird aperture limiter so the aperture limiter ring is actually quite tough. So it has like those uh, really tough metal clicks to it. And uh, it's like, just this is the ring that moves the aperture, the one with the dot. And the one, the ring that you have to adjust. So to limit the aperture is the ring uh, which has the uh, numbers on it. So let's just, uh, it's quite tough to, you know, now it moves so let's leave it for example at f5.6 right now it says at f5.6 and red dot is here so and we are still wide open so this is f2 let's go to back to f2 and this is now f5.6 this is a total weirdness but this is the quirkiness that we have to put up with if we want to shoot a really creamy and cinematic footage. So, for example, let's go again, maybe let's go to F4. Come on, yes, F4. So, and what do you know? This is still F2. But let's go to F2, and we are now at F4. So this ring actually shows the limit, uh, the limit of apertures that is available to us right now, but it shows it backwards. Um, logic? There's no logic. I don't know. Let's just get back to my face later. 
To be honest, it's pretty weird. Uh, but the weirdness actually ends here because this is an amazing lens optically uh, It's really sharp in the center. It's kind of a blurry to like on the edges, but well, it's an old Soviet lens It's it's really old people actually some say uh, that uh, it emulates a uh, Promised filter the highlights actually bloom when you shoot uh, things with this lens and uh, with the f2 aperture it separates the subject from the background it's really awesome for portraits because it's sharp it's crazy sharp in the middle and uh, it costs 50 dollars and if you want to you can have it rehoused there are companies like iron glass that produce uh, this kind of lens well they just uh, got this lens and uh, make the new metal housing for it and uh, it costs a thousand dollars and it's uh, aimed more at the professionals because you know that it has like more accurate f-stops more like uh, precise focus ring and uh, it's actually a bigger kind of housing and it's really uh, way more convenient to use so if you want a lens for fun uh, do go ahead spend fifty dollars buy like like a uh, five dollars an adapter ring and uh, just have fun because the image quality is really good and the price is really low. What else there is to say? So, that's been me and Helios 44-2. All the links you can find down in the description below. And otherwise, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully that will, it was helpful. If you have uh, some other questions about this lens, please do feel free to leave a comment. And I will see you in my next video.